So, have you got any idea what make this might be? I don't think it's HMV. I've had a look at HMVs and it doesn't look like one of them. Subscribers and viewers, and welcome to the old gramophone. Part two, identifying the make and the model. So here we have the gramophone that I've got, um, looking rather tatty and forlorn. So what did I find out about it and how did I approach getting information? Well, the first thing I did was I actually um, educated myself a little bit about gramophones because I didn't really know much about them. I didn't know the terminology and I thought that if I started asking experts, I needed to know what I was roughly talking about. So quite a useful diagram telling you the main features of a gramophone, horn, the elbow, the stylus, the sound box, which is which holds the uh, the needle, um, spindle, obviously crank. So yeah, that was definitely worth doing. So the next thing I did, I went on to uh, Facebook and also YouTube. My YouTube video attracted a few comments, and um, basically everybody had a think. Uh, what they thought it was and they thought and this is what they came up with. Most people seem to think that it's an HMV 102 which were made between 1931 and 1960 um, and to me that looks very very similar. I mean I don't think I'd seen this picture before I categorically said I didn't think it was an HMV, so uh, just goes to show what I know. The other option that seems to be popular, there was another expert who told me that he thought it might be a Molot, which is a Russian copy, and uh, yeah, quite frankly, if you look at this one, it is pretty much exactly the same. But I think what we need to do is we'll need to get a little bit closer to it and look when we start cleaning it and taking it apart then I think the restoration phase will provide conclusive proof as to what the make is. I still think it's HMV and one of the reasons why I think that is yes it looks very similar it's got all, the, all these features but also it's got um, a square missing underneath the lid and I think that that's where this piece should go that I've got missing. Anyway, that's my thoughts and that will probably come back to haunt me like the previous prediction. So, HMV, his master's voice. Uh, just a quick bit of information about this uh, trademark which is still used today by HMV. Uh, it was based on a painting, um, a painting of Nipper, and Nipper was a dog from Bristol who served as the first model um, in an 1898 painting by Francis Borrow, and it was titled His Master's Voice, and that's where the trademark came from. I think it was actually used by um, a, more than one company. Um, I might cover that in a later video. Right, from the Facebook group I was shown um, this piece of literature, uh, HMV 102 Deluxe is what somebody told me they thought it was. Um, the reason why they've called it a Deluxe is because it's coloured, um, there's either red or blue or there's a grey version there. Um, the black one was the standard and there was a sort of super deluxe one as well which I'll show you later. So the deluxe models um, in attractive colours, uh, price £12, 12 shillings. Um, what they did is they had an improved sound box, new type of sound box fitted to model 102 ensures the finest reproduction and gives wonderful depth and realism of the tone. Easy wind had a simple and rapid operation, is ensured by a new slip in winding handle which gives ease of winding owing to the long crank and its inclined handle. So I do, it does have an inclined hand, handle, that's for sure. And it has automatic starting and stopping device. The motor is easily started by swinging the tone arm over to the right 
After each record is played, the automatic brake will stop the turntable. A handbrake is also fitted, so let's hope that mine can do all of those things. Here we go, another picture of it. This is showing the uh, needle holder. This just swings out, nice little feature. And uh, here's some tins of needles. I don't know what that is. That's probably a tool to perhaps replace the stylus or needle. And there's the uh, leather handle. You can quite clearly see that. Here we have a restored version. It's going to look great if I can get it anywhere near like this. This just looks fantastic. Another view showing some of the levers. I think that's the brake there. There you go. You can see on the back of the uh, sound box it says his master's voice. So if I check that on mine, that should give me additional proof that it's HMV. Otherwise, it might be um, a Molot. I don't know. Right, I've got some interesting uh, literature here. This was the instructions for assembling and operating. The an advert here um, showing the slightly different model. This one looks looks like because it's actually a 101 and it has an internal um, record holder. Okay, and we have a model 102 again. Hopefully this is my one. And it also has this record holder as well. I'm not quite sure how that works. I guess you just take the play a record, take the top one off, maybe swap it around, I don't know, but we'll find that out later. Here we have another model 101. Slightly different. And then here we have the Model 102, a catalogue advert. And then here we have a French advert, so they're obviously selling them in France as well. And here we have the whole range. There's the basic black one. And we have a brown one, a green one, a blue one and then the red leather version, which I'm guessing is the Super Deluxe. So this is the basic, these are the Deluxe, and this one is the Super Deluxe. Okay, well that's it, that's what I know at the moment. Um, please uh, comment below if you you know want to correct me, I'm happy to you know receive information from people who know more than I do. That's great. Uh, so I can, all I can say really is, you know, thanks for watching um, and please subscribe and watch the old gramophone come back to life. Should be fun. And uh, if you wouldn't mind gently depressing the uh, subscribe button if you want to see more videos, click like to show that you like this video. And um, also if you could hit the bell as well, that will let you know when I make my next video. Thank you and goodbye.